but by the time you get to uh, the two realms of being, you really see what a philosopher who values clarity and is capable of clarity can do. And I think that's something that's, that we rarely see in the history of philosophy, somebody who goes so far in the way of clarifying their ideas. And it's something that's very valuable about Santayana. It's something that's, that's uh, it's not unique, um, but it's uh, something that's special about him. It's something rare and special about him. So that's what I think of when I think of the realms of being. He, he went a long way beyond, I'm sorry, of the, uh, of the life of reason. That He went a long way beyond uh, the clarity, the level of clarity that he achieved mm -hmm. in the life of reason. You mentioned Royce, and I wonder what you think of character and opinion in the United States. I think uh, character and opinion is very insightful. Uh, unfortunately, it contains some insights that are not so, that some people say are not so friendly to James and Royce and others. But I don't think they're unfriendly. I think that's, it's, a, it's an impartial appraisal. Uh, of them, uh, not so much as as human beings with whom one can be friends, but but really as uh, as philosophers, as as intellectuals. And uh, the criticism, for instance, of Royce, that he loves evil because it's good to strangle. That evil is good because it's good to strangle. Uh, and that really goes to the the heart of Royce. That's uh, the whole theodicy that Royce has, that uh, we, we really need evil because we have to have a task and we have to have something to turn our energies to. Uh, and the crime of, of Royce, the crime of him, is that uh, he thinks that is a justification of the suffering of life, that we need it because we need to have a challenge or something like that. What he doesn't see is that even though it's true as a matter of fact that we like challenges, we like to rise to challenges, and rising to challenges brings a satisfaction, that that is not a justification of the sufferings of life. It's not, it does not justify the sufferings of life. Uh, it's simply oh, an account of how life is constituted and how human beings are constituted. Uh, we enjoy challenges, Royce. That's true, but uh, we don't uh, <laughs> we don't enjoy the extremes of the challenges, uh, and those extremes are not hard to find. You find them all the time, uh, and there's no justification of that. Uh, there's no the there's no legitimate theodicy that comes out of Royce, and I think Santayana sees that. And uh, he's very upfront about it in character and opinion. I think it's good to be upfront about that. Uh, theodicy is very bad, I think. And Santayana could see that. That's too opinionated.